Hi, welcome to the Wild Gut Project. My name is Carrie. This is all about being vegan on the low FODMAP diet for irritable bowel syndrome. And today I wanted to share with you 10 tips of eating a bit cheaper on this diet because obviously it involves some kind of expensive ingredients. A lot of the really classically cheap vegan go-tos are very much limited or just off the table. So you can end up spending more money than you probably want to on food. So these are my tips. One, gluten-free options are always just so expensive. Like the pasta is often like 10 times as much. Um, the gluten-free breads, if they're actually vegan, also cost huge amounts of money. So if you can, lean more heavily on the naturally gluten-free options. So polenta, rice, potatoes, um, oats, they're all staples that are very nutritious, they're healthy, and they are gluten-free naturally. So you don't have to fork out sort of two pounds fifty for a tiny amount of pasta. You can just buy like a load of potatoes. Tip number two is, I know it does take a bit of effort, but bake your own sourdough bread. Because I used to buy lots of sourdough bread from bakeries and freeze it, and that worked quite well, well for me in terms of convenience. But it is really expensive. Here it's kind of four to five, sometimes six pounds for one that's actually sourdough. Like the one pound fifty ones in supermarkets are not sourdough, they're just, they're sourdough-like, they put vinegar in sometimes. Um, but you can make it yourself really cheap for about 50 pence worth of flour and I'll link a recipe for that. So those two tips are for carbohydrates. The next two are about protein. So the first, the third one, the third tip, first one about protein is mung beans. These are really cheap to buy, kind of dried, and then you can actually sprout them yourself and have a really decent portion size and it's just an amazing way to eat beans still, nutritious, healthy, great source of protein um, without spending a small fortune on kind of, I don't know, or tempeh which is really quite expensive um, per portion. Um, and that's why I made a point of actually putting that with a way to sprout it in the meal plan for um, the Your Wild Gut Project membership site just because it's such a good protein staple to lean on in this diet. The other tip for protein, so number four, is to use protein powders, kind of probably more than you're used to. Because obviously the cheap options like beans and lentils and even chickpeas, they're all really limited or just not allowed. So you can't use those the same way you would before. Actually protein powder per portion and per gram of protein is really quite cheap. And I, I got a huge bag of the Paulson's pea protein um, and it was on deal at Hans and Barrett. It was really cheap kind of per portion, like if I use a tablespoon it costs a few pennies, um, so yeah, it kind of, it, it becomes a really good option. Tip number five is to bulk buy the random ingredients that you might need online, so low FODMAP stock cubes, and I'll link below my favourites, um, just save so much effort and trying to source them in random health food shops is always expensive. Same for actually maple syrup, you can get a lot cheaper online and you can buy large amounts because it, it lasts. Same with um, uh, yeast flakes, I find very useful for adding flavour and much much cheaper to buy several pots online um, than fork out like often two or three times as much in a health food shop. Tip number six, uh, leading on from the idea of bulk buying is bulk cooking or batching. So actually this past month I've been working on the um, organised bundle for your World Gut Project, which is all about recipes you can cook kind of in batch and freeze and have ready to go. So obviously I've been testing lots of recipes, like developing lots of recipes and I've saved so much money. And you also then, you don't have those weak moments where you can't be bothered to make something because you've already made it, it's in the freezer, you just have to defrost it. So you can buy the random ingredients you have to have limited portions of, for example, um, and you don't have to eat it in every single meal that week to use it up in time. You can just cook one big meal, freeze portions, and it's, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I guess actually batch cooking saves money regardless of low FODMAP vegan or just any diet. It saves waste. So the seven tip is a game changer. It saved so much money. So I was used to buy a bunch of spring onions every week, and I would try and get other people to have like in the house, the white section, because obviously you can't have those on a low FODMAP diet, but most of the time they wouldn't get used, to be honest. They'd go a bit dry and have to be thrown away, and I hate wasting food. So then I saw on Instagram, I think it was the Monash um, page, they showed that you can put those white cutoffs in a glass of water, 
and in a few days actually the dark green sections just shoot up and you can cut them off again um, and I managed to do like six rounds with one bunch of spring onions so that, that was very useful I would say, because I tried it if you get spring onions that have like the really um, like big bulb and thin bodies they do not work very well, they end up really strag straggly but if you get the type of spring onions that have kind of really thick stalks those will just keep going and going and going and going so that's my tip for you there kind of going along the same lines of how annoying it is to only be able to use half a spring onion for leeks I basically asked people in my family to keep kind of chopped up dark greens of leeks in the freezer for me so like my mum grows lots of leeks so she's just been keeping those dark sections for me and then I can use them to make soups and kind of curries or whatever as an onion substitute and it means I don't have to waste like 75% of a leek they always cut off the dark green section in supermarkets anyway um, and it means she doesn't have to waste the dark green section which often recipes don't call for so win-win, save some money Tip number nine, because you aren't going to be using onion and garlic you want to rely a lot more on fresh herbs to add some sort of real kick of flavour to your recipes and they are very expensive to buy cut but most, well, a lot of supermarkets give you the option of getting potted plants now and it's like 50 pence more and you can just keep using them and yeah, we've got a basil plant that was just £1.20 from like Sainsbury's and it's been going for a whole year it's been supplying us with basil for that long so growing your own herbs, very easy just have them on a kitchen windowsill and will save you lots of money and give you lots of flavour and then finally tip number 10 is to make your own garlic or onion infused olive oil in the UK it's a bit more expensive buying garlic oil and in other countries it's outrageously expensive and it, it costs basically nothing to make yourself because onion and garlic is so cheap so I'll link a recipe I did for that but it's very straightforward essentially frying onion or garlic in some oil, letting it infuse and then keeping that oil so yeah, that could save you a lot of money if you live somewhere like Spain or Germany so those are my 10 tips. I would love to know if you found any little ways to save a bit of money on the low FODMAP vegan diet. Um, and it's actually today when this video goes out, so does the organised bundle of Your Wild Gut Project membership site. So if you would like some more recipes that you can bulk cook, for like breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, um, I'll link that below. And of course there's also stuff for the elimination phase and reintroductions and stuff like that. And of course I make videos every Sunday about this topic, so please subscribe and I will see you.